This video is about uh, calculating average and grade of subjects in visual basic language. So create a new project and name your project like this. Make sure to select windows form application on the top and click OK. You can also uh, check it out where to save by clicking on browse option and select folder click OK Your new project has been created now This is this is the form on which you can insert the controls regarding your application or you can see a software that you will develop basically we are going to design it by adding these controls this is a text box you can simply control C and control V and you will copy paste these text boxes and you can align it Now add a label from toolbox to define the name of text boxes or you can say uh, the, the title of the text boxes. Simply control C, control V, all of these labels and adjust them like this in front of each text box align it like this all of these labels to make it look better now we have to add buttons simply control C and control V and you will get another button the next step is to change the property properties of these controls to change the properties simply click on that label and on the right side you can get the properties in the text property change the name of the label and like this now I am changing the name property of the first text box as a student name now I am changing the text property of the second label like this so we can identify and for the text box we will change the name property we can also call it as a ID basically I have changed its ID changing the ID is important as uh, it would be uh, it, it, it would be helpful for us when we will code when we will start coding it will help us to identify which text box we are dealing with so must uh, give IDs of each text box and each of the controls and make sure all of the IDs should be meaningful so it would be easier for you to identify all of these controls when you will start coding similarly change the name of name property 
or you can say id property of the of other labels of this average label and i have changed its text property also now it's time to change grade property we will show the result of average on this label on this zero label and similarly the result of grade should be appear on this uh, another zero label i have changed the text property of both of the buttons and also we must have to uh, change the id properties of both of these buttons to identify when when we will start coding double click on it and we will go to its coding block it redirected us to the coding block and first of all i will declare the variables name variable and its type is string make sure your variables should be meaningful meaningful you can also declare same type variables in one line but only in that case if all of these variables uh or belong to the same type as our average label id should be like this lbl lbl means label and grade id should be like this when we will execute the code it will show us the program
enter the values this is our uh, design of the application double click on generate result button and it will lead us to that code here as you can see uh, this is the code of this button in first two lines I have declared the all of the necessary variables the first variable is s name and its type is string and all of the other variables are of the same type integer okay means you can it means that you can declare the declare multiple variables on a single line but make sure the type should be the same on the next line i am taking the input of text box computing text box science and text box math all of these three text boxes input and i am assigning com text box computing input to that to this variable and similarly in the text box science input assigning to this variable science and text box maths variable text box maths input is assigning to this math variable on next line i am adding these inputs that we have taken earlier okay in the computing and then science vari uh, value and maths value adding all of these three variables and uh, storing the sum of these three variables to this variable okay in total variable in this line basically we are cal calculating average by dividing the value of value of total by 3 and this dividing uh, and this answer is stored in this average variable and on the next line the value of average is assigning to average label so this average value will be displayed on this average label in the next block of code basically we are calcul calculating the grade okay based on this average value for example if a student scored uh, average it uh, 85 so it will satisfy this condition 85 is in this average variable value of average is 85 and 85 is greater than 90 so it will true and when whenever condition this condition will true then the this line of code will execute and we have assigned this grade label a plus okay we have assigned a plus value to this label grade so that's why this a plus will be displayed on this label grade similarly um, uh, these other grades will appear based on the condition and if a student secure a, uh, average of these three subjects below then for 50 okay then this value is assigned to this label grade and this value will be displayed on this label the next block of code is about clear button okay in this button basically uh, i have assigned blank blank value to this text box blank value to computing text box blank value to text math text box and similarly to science text box we have assigned blank value that's why whenever a person will clear will click on clear button these value will be assigned to all of these text boxes and these zeros zeros will be assigned to average label and grade label that's it let's check it's working by clicking on this start debugging button or you can also press f5 from your keyboard click on it here 
this is our output okay uh, small calculator that will calculate average and grade of uh, three subjects okay let's test it name of student is Ali marks of computing for example below then 50 below 32 now generate the result as you can see the average of these three marks is 37 and 37 the average value is there is less than 50 that's why it's showing us need improvement okay let's click on clear button all of the values will be clear now check it again now check it in a different way add different values and now generate and in this case the average of these three uh, subjects is 73 and here in case of grade 73 is here 73 is greater than 70 so the grade should be B plus let's check it in another way generate result and it generated the average and uh, grade successfully here as you can see the average was 90 and it satisfying the first condition that's why the grade displayed here a plus because the grade uh, because the average is 90 previously there was an error in the code we added greater than signs uh, instead of less than by mistake but now i corrected it thank you